in the previous class we learned about computer software right and we learned about what is a software and there are so many categories of software the main categories are system softwares and application software and in the application software itself we can divide that into two categories today we are going to learn about system software okay and in that system software the first one is operating system and i think you learned about operating system in the previous class isn't it we learned about operating system in the previous class mainly operating system is the interface between user and the computer and in this class we are going to learn about device drivers device drivers are software used to control printers speakers hard disk drives cds dvds digital camera and image scanners so in the name itself it is there device drivers it is used to control the devices attached to a computer there are special softwares for each and every device that is called drivers or device drivers for that particular hardware if a printer is there if you buy a new printer you need to install the driver for that printer then only it will work okay for each and every device there will be a special slot for slot in the cpu okay next one is utility programs utility programs are software designed to perform a specific task related to the operations of the computers these are specific softwares and these softwares improves the performance of a computer okay and the examples of utility programs are disk defragmenter system restore antivirus and disk cleanup these are some of the utility programs these are also a softwares which is improves the performance of a computer disk defragmenter means it cuts the space of a computer you can divide the space of a computer system restore if you want to restore your computer to a previous state you can use this software and i think all of you know about antivirus it prevents virus attack and disk cleanup deletes the unwanted files from your computer so all these softwares are special and it performs specific task which is related to the operation of a computer that means it improves the performance of a computer okay all these programs you can install and you can use this and already a default by default it will be there in your computer because these are system softwares next one is language processor or translators okay you have already learned about computer languages you learned about machine language high level language assembly language etc isn't it so a language processor or a translator converts one language into another so that the computer understands the instructions given to it okay so the first translator is an assembler an assembler translates program written in an assembly language into machine language and machine language to assembly language both the translations are done by the assembler if you have written an instruction in an assembly language it converts those instruction into 
machine language so that the con computer understands it. Okay. Next one is an interpreter. Okay. Actually, the second one is interpreter. Third one is compiler. And this interpreter and compiler are similar. There is only a small change. An interpreter translates a high level language into machine language which is then executed by the computer. The interpreted programs are generally slow. At the time of development of a program, an interpreter is used to quickly test a small section of high level language program. Normally, this interpreter is very slow because it reads line by line. Line. It reads the first line of a program. After that, it checks for errors and it understands. After that only, it will read the second line of a program. That is why it is very slow. Normally, this is used to used for a quick test of a small section of a high-level language program. Okay. And compiler also does the same thing. It also converts high level language into machine language and machine language into high level language. But the difference is that it reads the entire high level language program then collects and recognizes the instruction. That is the main difference between an interpreter and a compiler. A compiler reads the entire high level program then collects the data and understand it well and if there is any error it shows the error with the line number it shows the error is there on line number 71 error is there in some line number 72 like that it shows the error but in the case of interpreter it reads line by line it reads the first line if there is any error it will show at that time itself after that only it will read the second line so, these are the difference between compiler and interpreter. Both converts high level language into machine language and machine language into high level language. Clear? So, there are three types of language processor. Assembler, interpreter and compiler. Clear? So, these are the types of system software. The next one we will learn in the next class okay so all of you read your textbook understand it well and all of you take care bye